we'll make the best of the best of all the brands, and we'll have an absolutely fabulous time. Once again, we're at Snowshoot. This is 2016. We have all the best sleds from all four major manufacturers. They let us go out and ride them, evaluate them, and give you guys our unbiased opinion on what we like and don't like. That's right, snow conditions could be a little bit better, but hey, you know, we're gonna make the best of it and we're gonna get these sleds tested. We got a lot of equipment to ride, so let's get to it. We're out on our touring segment. We have a vast majority of sleds from all the manufacturers. We want warm sleds because it's negative 10, Shane. On those cold days like today, I couldn't be happier to be on these sleds. Heated seats, heated handlebars, large windshields, absolutely increases the ride quality. We want a snowmobile that's gonna be warm for us riding one person, two person, however it is. The trails are great, sun shining, let's get at it. Arctic Cat Pantera 7000 XT Limited. Now this is an all new platform that Arctic Cat had put together. The added width, the extra track, the added uh, weight really kept that thing planted in the corners. I mean, the, the effort was just, you didn't, you didn't have to put a lot there. It just, it went where exactly where you wanted it to go. It was incredible. I mean, it was like sitting on a full blown couch. Riding on the back of the Pantera was comfortable. It had a nice backrest, heated grips. It was super comfortable, and I wouldn't mind hanging back there and taking in some scenery. It was really nice. It had the largest windshield out of all of them, which was great. A windshield that literally, when you stood you know, to the side of the windshield, it was negative 10. When you were behind it, it was like stepping into an 85 degree sunny day. Well, we're categorizing this sled in the touring, but I almost categorize like a touring slash utility. You can be touring as well as pulling your fish house, pulling a sled, you name it, that machine's going to do it. The Yamaha RS Venture, I had quite a bit of seat time on today. A couple things that stood out to me is A, the power steering, B, the overall power plant behind the sled. I mean, you want power you crack the throttle and you're throwing back and you're giggling and you know that motor is tried and true absolutely rips it's a it's a you know, solid power plant by all means they still have the power steering they added new pilot skis and they also put an articulating rear rail which there again when you go to back up will make it a lot nicer to back up on top of things rather than augering in the sled handled decent, but I will say it had some ski lift in some corners. But then again, we did ride a little bit more aggressive than we probably should ride this sled. The Skidoo Grand Touring SE 1200 Fortec is basically, in my opinion, the Swiss Army knives of the touring class. We've always liked this as a touring sled. It's been a really nice machine. All the bells and whistles, all the creature features. They've uh, added the Pilot TS Ski, which is the adjustable ski, which takes that machine to a whole new level as far as handling. It's got clickers on the front, quick adjust. You can move the carbide down for more aggressive bite, depending on the snow conditions. And I think that's really gonna come in handy on this sled. And probably one of the biggest changes they made on this machine is the ITC, which is the actual electronic throttle, so it's cableless throttle. And what they're able to do with the mapping by that is they can change how the butterfly opens in the throttle body. Definitely had the power. When you wanted it, I mean, the throttle response was crisp. Engine noise was little to none. 
you hear more ski noise and snow flying off the sled than anything. The silent drive system, which produces track sound up to 65% and vibration up to 70%, making this the smoothest, quietest ride and allowing you to ride further without fatigue. You know, combine that with the creature features of the, you know, the heated seat, heated handlebars, a great windshield, comfortable, you know, fit and finish. Your knees aren't bent up, you know, your knees aren't rammed into the panels. You combine all those things and it's just really the ultimate package. Still ahead on Sledhead 24-7. Rough trail, groom trail, and mountain. Stay tuned. Sledhead 24-7 is brought to you by Amsoil, the first in synthetics. Polaris, terrain domination. Skidoo snowmobiles. And by Articat, share our passion. Welcome back to the groom trail section. I think our majority of our riders out there are trail riders. So we got a little bit of everything, got the best of all the brands, and we're gonna go out and ride them, right Shane? Yeah, you know what? I'm pretty excited to be able to ride all four different brands this year. Really test out all of the different suspension packages and put them to their bases. Groom trail to me is you know, getting out early morning, really putting on the miles, flattest of the flat, following the groomer, absolutely zero bumps, you know, following that perfect laying down corduroy. Yamaha's SR Viper RTX DX, that 700 power plant, what can I say? The thing is tried and true. The four stroke motor from the Yamaha has a great top end, great torque, great in and out of the corners, very smooth transition on the trail, absolutely a blast to ride. Uh, visually, the sled had some great color options. I really like the new black and gold option. The Yamaha, the Ergos, I mean, it is basically a cat chassis, but Yamaha puts a lot of their own little twists and twerks to that machine. One change I'd like to see possibly made was the clutching. A little bit jumpy, uh, definitely in and out of the throttle. It kind of threw you forward, threw you back. Although that power is fun to drive with sometimes, it definitely, uh, in our conditions this weekend, a little bit icy, made the uh, back end of the sled kind of kick out a little bit and a little bit unpredictable. They found a Rush Pro S. We rode this sled last year. It's the only sled to me that feels like it's super aggressive, but also super smooth. And the thing is flawless, it lays flat. I mean, S to me means slot car. That thing just rails the corners, lays flat, easy to steer. Ergo's fitting real well. All in all, just a real fun groom trail sled. 800 HO power plant is a force to be reckoned with. In this category, to me, I feel like the two strokes are actually catching up to the four strokes and the torque side of things. When you got on the gas, I mean, you had to be holding on to the bars because you were going. What's really neat about that sled is you lean back, you can lighten the front end up. Any bumps there is or down the straightaways, you can lighten it up. You want it to bite in the corners, just slide forward and it just bites nice. Light bite, it's that easy. The Articat ZR7000, although the same motor as the Yamaha, definitely had a little bit better clutching. For me, it was way smoother in transition on the trail. In and out of the turns, on the straightaway, it really, really worked well. It's got a little heavier front end, so it's a little bit harder to pick up, but it does have great acceleration with that power plant in it. So, you know, just keep on the gas and you're smiling. This year the Articat ZR7000 got the new Fox QS3 shocks. Soft, medium, and firm. Three adjustments, very easy to use, very easy to see the input that you put to the shock. Absolutely a step in the right direction. I definitely felt like you had to ride the sled aggressive. It was a great fun sled to ride on the trails. You just rode it hard, you know, it's, it's a sled that you want to ride and really hang it out. Skidoo MXZ 800R E-Tech. 
they made some really cool refinements to that snowmobile. They took that 120 track. You know, I, you keep hearing me say from time to time, I think the new, the 137s are gonna be the new short tracks. Well, what they did is they took the 120, they took the 137, split the difference. They made a 129. For those icy days or those slick corners that surprise you, this track will maintain grip and you will feel in control the whole time. One of the best things about the Skidoo MXZ X was the 800R E-Tech. Absolutely great, reliable power plant. The power is smooth, it's delivered well, the clutching is there, it's absolutely a blast drag. You know, Skidoo's always been on top. They're always pushing the envelope, making things better. In my opinion, they made one very nice trail sled. Up next, hit it hard with the rough trail category. Don't go anywhere. Sledhead 24-7 is brought to you by Stud Boy. Traction with an attitude. Straight line performance. Ziegler Cat. Exceptional service backing the best equipment. The U.S. Air Force. Aim high. And by Speedworks. Straight up USA horsepower. Now we're on to one of my favorite classes. You can tell by just maybe the excitement in my voice. This is the rough trail class. This is where we take the best sleds from all the manufacturers and go out and we get to pound them. Different track lengths, different shock setups, four stroke, a couple two strokes. You know, it's gonna be a blast. I'm excited to uh, learn from the professionals. No, that's right. We get to go out and ride them, evaluate them. So we got one thing left. Let's go pound them. The Yamaha SR Viper RTX LE got a few, you know, new refinements this year. It has the Fox shocks on it, which will handle the big hits, and the race rear suspension. And it's really a cool looking sled too. That blue and white design, it just it looks and just pops. It's got that four-stroke torquey power. Ergonomics are good. It's comfortable to sit on. It's got nice big foot wells to really hook into the sled and crack that throttle wide open. The Articat ZR8000RR. Basically the same, you know, tried and true, uh, you know, kind of race replica that we've come to know, come to love. I feel like it handled the bigger bumps better than the chatter bumps. I would almost compare it to being on a boat in a lake and hitting some wakes, and it almost made a similar sound. The Articat motor is, you know, for me, it's very strong. Uh, it's got a lot more top end than it seems to have torque to me, uh, but it could just be, you know, seat of the pants feel. Anybody can drive them if they like the looks, like the colors, by all means ride it, you'll have a blast. But the guy who wants to go out and just pound the bejesus out of it, that's the sled. The Polaris 800 Rush Pro X was a super fun sled for me to ride. You know, this sled, it, it's a powerhouse. The 800 HO engine is, I don't know how many times I can say it, it surprises me every time. Snow check exclusive. You better get one if you want one. Absolutely incredible sled. Trail riding, going through the bumps, the stutter bumps, it, the thing feels real well. I like the ergos. You sit up a little higher than most sleds. You can stand up real easy. It lends itself with the running boards to be able to stand up. If you see a big hit coming, you can just get a little weight off that seat and blammo and you're sailing. The Skidoo MXE XRS 800R E-Tech. That E-Tech motor has been, you know, time and time again, right at the top of power. Incredible throttle response, you know, incredible reaction. I mean, basically anything that your mind can think of, you know, that's related right to your thumb, is put right to the snow. I can always step my game up I feel a lot more comfortable going down the trail pinned compared to some of the other sleds. The new Pilot TS ski for Skidoo is absolutely incredible. Like I said it made it the complete performance you know that, that you know high-end upper echelon machine. I mean, it really was the complete package. You know they didn't make a lot of changes to that machine but I guess 
the one thing I can ask, why would they? <laughs> the thing works good. Still ahead, the search for the deep is on as we head to the mountains. Sledhead 24-7 is brought to you by Amsoil, the first in synthetics. Arctic FX Graphics, make it yours. Fox, redefining ride dynamics. And by FXR, world-class outerwear. We're on the mountaintop, sun shining, having a hard time finding a little bit of snow, but uh, hopefully we got a couple little secret spots we can go play in. We have great sleds, great riders. So you know what, let's get to it. You know, mountain to me, you know, it's just that. Basically get back in areas that normally we wouldn't be. It's going out there and pushing yourself to the limit. You know, that doesn't necessarily mean the steepest and the deepest for everybody. I mean, you can be a mountain rider, uh, you know, and not be on the super, super gnarly stuff like you see on TV. You know, it's about being out there and like I said, just pushing your personal boundaries. You know, getting somewhere where not everyone sees, getting to that, you know, to that area that's off the beaten path. You know, creatively speaking, your options are endless for riding that way. Side hills, cornering, carving. The manufacturers are helping tremendously by giving us product now that is just second to none. The all new Polaris Pro RMK 800 and the Axis chassis this year for 2016 is basically the only mountain sled that got a complete read new design. As everyone's heard a million times, flickability with this sled is brought to this next level with this new platform for sure. The sled is so responsive to what you want it to do. It absolutely answered every question we, you know, we had for it. It took a tried and true ProRide chassis and refined it into this, you know, the, the things that worked with the ProRide and moved it into this new Axis chassis and redefines mountain riding. The new 800 motor, the lightweight crank, the thing revs quick, it wants to get in right up on top. 408 pounds, that's pretty remarkable, I think. I thought they had an amazing chassis from the get-go, and then to see the changes and the refinements that they made in 2016, I'm absolutely blown away. I cannot wait to ride this chassis even more and you know, see what they can bring to the table in the future. The Polaris RMK Pro is a purpose-built mountain machine. You can't get much better than that. The Yamaha SR Viper MTX was, again, a chassis that was new last year for us that was refined this year. They share a lot of the same product that Articat has made. They have the new bone spindles, so you can it's a little narrower, easier to tip, easier to side hill. Absolutely incredible machine. Found myself trying to push it somewhere that I didn't think I could traditionally put a Yamaha. It's a super fun sled to ride. You know, it was good setup. It's just that front end's a little heavy for me to be tossing around in the mountains. That motor is just strong and it works. It pulls hard, put a turbo on that motor and the thing rocks. This sled is unbelievable boosted. It makes a heavier four stroke feel light. Skidoo Summit T3-800R E-Tech. The deeper the snow, the better they are. They take a good rider and make them into a great rider. One of the easiest sleds to throw around. It basically, with a little effort, a little counter steer, just falls over and you can get it on its edge and you can keep it there. So easy to handle on the snow, the flotation is there. And as far as ergos go, the sled is, you know, right on the top for me. All of them Summit X's now come with the RAS2 front end combined with the T-Motion rear end. You know, basically just flat out works. The way the, the track flex and the tipping of that rear just pulls through the deeper snow. This year, one change they made, which I really enjoyed, they made a 154 in the T3 package. So they have a 154 along with that three inch paddle track. Already Cat M series. Uh, we rode a lot of the, the 8,000s. Now they've gone with team clutches, a primary and secondary with team. So durability is going to be way better. Belt life is going to be better. So all in all, a great package. Saw some amazing refinements. The front end was the biggest that we saw. And with that front end refinement was a new spindle, new A-arm setup, complete new geometry. 
They angled back the spindles, made them more of a, uh, what they call a bone look. This new one slices through. You know, I rode last year's model and now this year's model, and I can definitely tell that there's a difference there. Their new float action rear suspension, they added one inch more shock travel, handles the bumps and pops out on top of the snow much better. When you can point at something and take a risk and come out successful, you really, really enjoy that. And Articat is, is basically packaged that into their mountain segment this year. Snowshoe 2016 has been fantastic. It's seen the competition between the OEMs and trying to one-up each other every year. For us as consumers, that's fantastic. Right now, you can't buy a bad product. So any of you guys out there, it's not a bad thing to be brand loyal because your brand has great snow machines. Options, options. I mean, go online, check it out, really customize it to you. I'd like to take the opportunity to thank the community of West Yellowstone, Chamber of Commerce, all four OEMs, Articat, Yamaha, Skidoo, Polaris. Everybody's happy, everybody's having a great time. And of course, we're getting it done. We truly do put some effort behind it and go out there and test machines to the best of our ability. I know for a fact that we push them harder than you know anyone else that I've ever had the opportunity to ride with.